All right, guys, it's Pete coming from the garage. Today, what we're going to be doing is putting on some Goldwing fog lights because, as you know, the 2018 to 2019 models did not come with them if you bought the tour model. The new 2020 does from the factory. Thanks, Honda. I'm going to put on the electrical connections once and we'll go through it. I just want to say a quick thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I also want to thank everybody. I hit a thousand subscribers, so I just want to say thanks to everybody who subscribed to the channel and, uh, really appreciate it I mean it's just doing this for fun and hopefully you guys find this uh, tutorial helpful because it's really straightforward but it can be a pain in the butt if you're not sure on what you're doing but no sense to pay anybody to do this install for you because you can do it yourself all right today we're gonna put on some electrical connections fog lights for a 2018 and above Honda Goldwing we get our lights hardware and then in the box, <clears throat> tells you to go to their website for directions. But we don't have to do that because I'm going to show you how to do it. All right. Here, what do we got? <clears throat> okay, so we got the first light here. Looks all right. Your adjustment bolts. All right, so they're identical lights, you know. some zip ties. This is our button that will go in the dash. We'll do the easy way so we don't have to take apart the entire bike. This is your pigtail that's going to go from one light to the other over to the side of the bike. And the two rubber things that will go around the cowling kind of gives it a nice touch. And I'm just going to put the brackets on as seen. You're going to have a left side and a right side. Um, but I'm going to pre-assemble these up here so I don't have to be bending over because I do have a bad back. And then uh, what you're going to need is a 3 8 for that because we're in America. And then the screws are just a Phillips. So we're just going to put those together real quick. And you're just going to do the same on the other side. Um, just keep everything loose, tighten up once it's on the bike. So the next thing you do is we're going to take those two bolts out to remove the cowling. And we're going to do this on both sides. All right, so now we're going to take one of these L brackets at the short end. So we go in and like that, OK? So we'll take our. inside bolt through we'll just put that on snug it up and we're also going to remove this 12 millimeter bolt here that holds the crash bar on okay so our next part is you here's your light so your light's just going to go right there, right there on that L bracket. So you're just going to take your 12 millimeter, put that back in the crash bar. Okay, just going to get that started. Okay, so you're going to put the 12 mil back in there. This goes on the front. Slide it in there. Grab your nylocker. locker. Things you do while you're in a, a 
apocalypse. All right, so we'll just let it sit like that for a minute and move on. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, of course. All right, so underneath the right side of the bike, down here, is the dead plug for your uh, wiring harness. So you're gonna get a pair of needle nose and you're just gonna pull that off and plug the wire harness right into it. All right, so basically down through there, is where you're going to get your uh, wiring harness. You're gonna bring the wires up. You're gonna take the long lead and run that to the left side of the bike. You're gonna take the right lead and just put it right in right here with this one. Um, it's hard to get a camera in there to show you guys how to do it, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna run that thing right along the bottom column on the inside. Piece of cake. You're going to cut out the inserts for the cowling and then. All right, so now you're going to take your rubber piece here. Got a little slit in it. And you're just going to work it around the edge. There we go. I'm going to try to get that up towards the top. So we just work it around. All the way. All right, so you just want to run this around till you get to where you know it's close. You want some overlap. Don't trim it too short because you want it to be firm because that's what holds it in. So I'll take off a little bit right there. Start with that. And of course you're going to do this on you're going to do this on both sides. One thing I would suggest is when you get these take something like this and just kind of doesn't have to be one of these but just kind of run it through there. I noticed that uh, it wasn't quite all the way unsealed so it was having a real pain so I just ran this through the other one to get it to loosen up. See how tight that is? You'll never get it on. So just Take something and run it through there. Something easy, something blunt, I run it backwards like that. So it's just something easy for you to do to save you some time and frustration. Okay, <clears throat> the dreaded part. How do you get this out to put the button there without taking all this off? <clears throat> There's a secret. You can pry these up. Two five millimeter bolts should slide out piece of cake Let's hope for the best. <clears throat> I have not done this before. There are two little push pins here and here. <clears throat> you want to remove those too. I did do a trial run on this side. Um, word of advice before you pull, you know, the <clears throat> standard push pins out of here and here, put a towel down there so one of them doesn't go down the black hole of Honda <clears throat> and gone forever. It is. Okay, so in theory, all you gotta do is pull up through here. <clears throat> There's a little tab right under here. It's supposed to pop up. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, exposes that five millimeter bolt. Now we'll come over and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I just be able to Slide in a five millimeter socket. I can't find my uh, L wrench. I'm having a tough time with that today, finding tools. But uh, just loosen it up a little bit and then just unscrew it and then do the same on the other side. Got the, <clears throat> the bolts out. That should just slide straight up. Just a little tab back. Give it a little pull. Pull it straight up and out. flat over like that. A lot easier than pulling off all the body work, isn't it? So now all we're going to do is take out 
these screws and then pry the rest out. So I'm just going to take these four screws out. Now, the reason I went with electrical connections, one was price. I mean, the price was fair. Plus, it had the uh, ability to plug in to the center console the actual um, button in the console. So it's clean. It's, it looks like it's from the factory. Um, and the front one is really long. The back one is very short. So just remember that. I just put them on my seat the way I took them out. So when I put them back, it's easy. And I've also had uh, other electrical connection stuff before. On my 2007 Goldwing, um, I did pull a trailer with it, and I used their uh, <clears throat> trailer harness. Um, and I found that the good product, and they were, you know, you know, any questions? They were pretty open to email you back pretty quick if you had any questions. So the next part is you just kind of we're just gonna pry this off. So it's got these little tabs on it. Okay? Just kind of work your way down. There's kind of one here. We're just kind of manhandling it, but don't break it because, you know, this is the shiny part. And boom. See? It's got all these little tabs on it. Piece of cake. If they break, it wouldn't be the first time it broke something on the bike and had to replace it. So, you know, just kind of work your way down. It not be hard, but just nice and easy. Pops right off. You know, you don't have to be super gentle, but you don't want to be like a crazy man either. Okay, and we flip it back over, and we got to take out those two screws here. Lost my microphone. Hopefully the uh, audio quality's gone up. I got a new uh, microphone, and I ended up buying the uh, audio pack for the GoPro. What do I got? A seven. It goes with the eight two, where it plugs in the USB port. So hopefully this mic is better than my old one. One of the biggest problems with any kind of YouTube video is audio quality. You know, you want to have a nice even audio tone. So, there you go. Alright. Okay. Do, 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 do. There's a little clip up here. Pop that up. Boop. There we go. And it takes off the shiny bit. Let me just put that there. Alright, so. Now we undo this here which takes out our center button, because that's where the fog light button goes. This was actually the uh, <clears throat> part I was dreading the most, but it turns out this is actually the easiest damn part of the whole operation. So now we got our fancy new button, and it just slides right in there like so. There we go. Now I am going to take the screw that came out of here even though it's useless now i'm just gonna put it back in case i ever take this off for some reason i know where the screw's at i don't have to worry about looking for it good project i have to stay at home orders during this whole Timmy and I can't do this and I'm gonna find out if the fog lights work all right so the buttons working let's go around front here all right and we have fog lights all right so we know they work now let's just button the whole thing back up again all right that's with them off let's see what they look like on Cool. All right. Okay. Once you get everything put together, what you're going to do is you're going to line your cowl back up. That's why I keep these loose. You move this or the fog light around till you get it in the spot you want it. You go and tighten up all your bolts, put this back on. Now, you may have to do this a couple times. I haven't got to ride it yet, but I'm sure after my next ride, I'll have to come back and adjust it. Um, 
just to see how it looks. But it's pretty straightforward installation. I mean, it should take you no more than hour and a half, two hours, if you really don't know what you're doing. But uh, very basic, very easy to do. Um, if you have any questions, of course, put them in the comments. Again, thanks for watching. Um, if there's anything I can do to help, you know, certainly hit me in the comments. Um, send me a direct message. I'll be glad to help you. If you live in the Fort Myers area and you want to put these on and you're not really sure, hit me in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Of course, after the pandemic's over. <laughs> but uh, ride safe, everybody. Uh, stay corona-free. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.